What's up everybody, Tiakum here with Soya Quilting. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you make this strip mirage quilt. Let's get started. As you can see in front of me, it's a pretty simple cutting instructions. I've just got 42 two and a half inch strips that vary in color. In today's tutorial or in today's video, I'm going to do it with only five different colors. Yes, you can make it with a jelly roll, but I wanted to see what it turned out with just using five colors. So for our first step, we're gonna take some of our colors and we're gonna line them up in this pattern as you see here. Light, dark, light, dark. Then we're gonna take two of them and we're gonna put them right sides together and take them over to the sewing machine and sew our quarter inch seam. Now I'm gonna take this over to our ironing board and iron this out. Now that I got my first strip set sewn, I'm gonna sew the other two pieces together. And again, I'm gonna take this over to the ironing board and iron it open. Now again, I'm laying these out so that it's light, dark, light, dark. Now that I have my two strips sewn together, I'm gonna to sew them to each other. So we just put them right sides together and repeat the same process. I'm gonna take this over to the ironing board and iron this out just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make more strip sets just like this and I'll be right back. Now that I've put together my strip sets, it's time to cut them down into our squares. And we're gonna line it up here and we wanna cut these down into eight and a half inch squares. So I'm going to first, make sure that's all right, square off my edge here, making sure everything's super straight. And I know this is a little bit off camera, this part, but I just squared that up. I just squared up my edge here. That way I know this edge is 100% flush. Now we're gonna cut these into eight and a half inch squares. Lining that all up right. Now I'm gonna cut my next one. I'm gonna do that to the rest of my strip sets and we'll be right back. Now that we finished up cutting down our strip sets into squares, it's time to start making half square triangles. So the way that we do this is we want our half square triangles, or sorry, our quilt blocks to go light, dark, light, dark. And our next one, we want it to go dark, light, dark, light. Once we know that it's laid out in this way, we're gonna take it and fold it right on over on top of the other one. That way, when we make our half square triangle, they'll be mirror images of each other, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So, to make a half square triangle, all we need is to mark a line corner to corner here. And I'm gonna mark corner to corner. And I'm gonna sew on both sides of my line. And we're gonna repeat this step for the rest of our blocks. Now that I've sewn on both sides of the line, I'm going to cut right on top of my line or cut in between my sew stitches. Lay down my ruler, pull up my rotary cutter. Cut all the way down. Now that we have them cut, you can tell that I've got mirror image half square triangles. What our next step is to do is to iron these open and then we need to square them up. So I'm gonna take these to the ironing board and iron these all open. So now what we're gonna to wanna to do is square these blocks up to eight and a quarter inches. And there won't be very much to square up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and square up the rest of my blocks and then we'll talk about the assembly of this quilt. As you can see right here, I've got my blocks and what we're going to do 
is we're gonna start with a block with the small half square triangle, the little teeny square right here in the bottom left corner. Then after that, we're gonna put our next block with the little square in the top left corner. We're gonna keep doing this pattern like so, just like that. Now for the next row, we're gonna do an exact mirror image of what we had previously. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna lay it down, and I'm gonna make sure my little square here, or my little half square triangle, is in the bottom right corner. Then I'm going to put one at the top right corner, bottom right corner, top right corner. So as you can see here, it's starting to create these big diamonds in the quilt, which gives it the mirage effect. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my row together. So all we're gonna do is take my top left one and put them right sides together and sew my quarter inch seam. Now my rows on this quilt are going to be six wide, seven down. So I'm gonna put six of these together. Now I'm gonna start attaching my sets of two together. Now that I've sewn my row together, I'm going to iron open all my seams and I'm going to start connecting them. Now that I've sewn most of my rows together, I'm going to show you how you'd connect the rows. All you got to do is line them up and I'm going to fold this over, putting them right sides together. And then I'm going to make sure that my quilt block seams line up with each other. So I'm going to grab my pins. Now I'm gonna take this over to my sewing machine and sew my quarter inch seam. And now let me show you what the quilt looks like. So here it is, our finished quilt top. I absolutely love the way that this one's turned out. And as you can tell, it looks completely different from the one behind me. If you've liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't be afraid to share it with your friends. As always, I'm going to leave instructions on how to make this in the description below. My name is Tiak. I'm teaching you how to sew like a pro. We'll see you here next week at Sew Your Quilting. So I went ahead and I made a couple extra strip sets. Now it's time to cut these down and I've lost my rotary cutter again. Found it.